Hello everybody, my name is Ryan and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining me today. So, today we're watching season 2 episode 9 of Anne with an E. We are so close, we are so close. I'm so scared for the next episode, but we need to get into that. So, a quick recap of the last episode. What did we even have going on? Prissy was supposed to be getting married to Mr. Phillips, I think was the teacher's name. And we also found out that Mr. Phillips, we believe, I guess. I guess we haven't actually gotten that confirmed, but like, it's true. That he's gay. Cole has told Anne that he is gay and they've made a marriage pact, which is like, beautiful. I love that for them. And we also had, what else did we have? Uh, Percy ended up running away from the marriage, so slay to her, that was amazing. Gilbert and Sebastian ended up going on a little adventure because Sebastian was having um, some kind of infection with his mouth and he had to go to the doctor. Gilbert maybe got an apprenticeship with the one doctor. And Sebastian met a woman Mary, I think her name was, if I'm remembering correctly, who washed his clothes. It's a long story, we don't need to get into it. Anyway, he met her and Gilbert and Sebastian were spending the night at her house because they couldn't get a train back home until the next day. I'm thinking that Sebastian maybe has a crush, definitely has a crush on Mary. So I am interested to see like where the, if that goes anywhere or if that was just kind of like a fleeting moment. And Marilla went to the eye doctors with Rachel. So that was also great. I think that's everything important that happened that I can remember anyway. As always, the full episode reaction for this episode and all of the other episodes will be up on my Patreon. The link for that's down below. And without any further ado, let's just jump right into Season 2, Episode 9 of Anne with an E. Let's go. I have no clue where we're going and what we're doing, but I'm excited. Who is this? That's beautiful. Who is this? What's going on? Where am I? Oh, that's Prissy's mom. Oh, it's this meeting. But who is this woman? I'm so confused. She like incredible. Wearing pants. What do you mean pants? Pants. Hello, I'm Muriel. Muriel Stacy. Good day, Miss Stacy. I'm Mrs. Harmon Andrews. And then my tardiness was compounded when my motorbike broke down on the way. And all of this to say, please forgive my appearance and my hopefully excusable delay. Let's hope that's all we have to forgive. Oh God, yikes, I didn't like that. My mother was talking to Mrs. Pye and she said that the PMSC felt that Miss Stacy's probably unsuitable. But she rides a motorbike. Oh, is she, she trying to be the new teacher or something? I think she sounds spectacular. Yes, I'm going to help pave the way for Miss Stacy. I know just how it is to be new and judged harshly. That's, that's fox. It's gonna be dead meat. I think I'll make it into a hat. Fox, what fox? The one with the dark tail has been stealing chickens. <sighs> I just laid the world at your feet, didn't I? <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Oh, I feel like she's gonna be great. Here you go, little lady. Oh. My name is Miss Stacy. Please take that gun outside. The classroom is no place for a weapon. Sure, I was... Please stand up. Oh, Anne. She's so cute. She's so excited. Of course. Oh, my God. Oh my goodness. Now please move all the desks to the side and take a seat on the floor. I love this for them. For all of them. Uh, careful now. There you go, lift the pan. Oh, that should keep the chicken safe. This is a fox that Anne's been seeing every time. Sebastian. Oh, Bash. Come on now. Come on now. What have you done? In the muck? You need better shoes, my guy. Muriel Stacy. 
mischievous. <laughs> Scholastic. Those would be my descriptors if we had the same initials. Romantic. Girl? Uh -huh. <laughs> Ruby Gillis. Well done. Ruby has a crush on Gilbert Blythe? Uh, um. Uh, global. He traveled the world for a year. And bookish. Everyone thinks he's the smartest student. <laughs> Priscilla Andrews. But I won the spelling bee. Anne. Co okay. Calm down. Pardon no need to provide me with gossip. I don't condone it. But nothing I said is a secret. If someone needs me to know something, they'll tell me. Uh, uh, oh. Uh, oh no. I've heard some shocking rumors about our new teacher. Rumors? I thought something terrible had happened. It has. <laughs> Rachel? Trustees? I was against hiring a female teacher. I said it was a dangerous innovation, but I was backed into a corner. And Rachel, calm down. Calm down. You really think there's cause to worry? If she's capable of corrupting the young minds of Avonlea, then yes. We will stop by right after school. Oh, stop. Well, I'm hoping you wouldn't mind tutoring me. I'm worried that I'm behind and I'm very serious about medicine as my vocation. My husband accelerated his studies and got early entrance into college. Husband? I'm widowed, actually. Oh, how tragical. I'll do whatever it takes. Let's meet before class in the mornings and get you started. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, Gilbert. He's like, that's all I wanted was somebody who, like, can teach me something happily. In his studies, I'd like to, too. I have ever so many vocations in mind. Oh, the list is endless. Really, let's put our heads together about that. after school. I'd like you to write an essay on the perils of gossip and why it's important to have empathy for others. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be long, but it has to be meaningful. Appalling, stupid, clueless, and Shirley Cuthbert. <laughs> Gilbert will not outpace me either, just because he already knows his stupid vocation. You heard it here, Diana. I'm going to write the best essay in the world. The world! Huh? I'm not coming back. Life's too short. I'm not accepted there, and you know that. Trust me, the new teacher won't let anyone bully you. I'm sure of it. She's a champion of good. Did they walk there? <laughs> yes! Try it! Poor Marilla here knows all too well the unfulfilled life of an unmarried woman. Word to the wise. Rachel, what the hell is your problem? All right, it's just a fox. No, he's my friend. Please, Matthew, please take the trap away. I couldn't bear it if something happened to it. Sorry, then. We have to protect what's ours. <sighs> oh. oh, no. wear that don't do it it was just rachel yeah don't not a chance yeah yeah but leaving next year that was never the plan i have a chance finally to get something that i want i came here so we could work this land together for two years until it comes back to life and i've learned farming and then you'll go plans changed mm. and rachel was extremely insulting she crossed a line with me sorry to hear it yeah she definitely Crossed a major line. Lucky it was only your essay was burned and not all of Green Gables. I can't go to school today. I just can't. Miss Daisy will never believe me and I've already made the worst impression. Oh God, he's going to try and when tackle you, horse up. We're going to get to know each other. It's going to be fine. Oh yes. Okay, well he's doing it right, so that's good. Don't oh, over him. Right. Um, well, what are you gonna do once you're up there, when your your horse is tied? Show mercy. How, well, how are you gonna get your reins? Oh my God, Sebastian, that was ridiculous. Was it so bad? <laughs> Just save my fox. 
But Mr. Cupboard said he'll split the profit with me. <laughs> what? I hope you weren't eavesdropping. I'm trying to study. I'm going to need Miss Stacy's help with my vocation soon, too. Do whatever oh, you God. want. It's not. So, sorry to interrupt. Please, carry on with your goals. Excuse me? Would you care to stay and observe? Why, thank you. I believe I would. All objects that take up space and have mass are called matter. And everything around you is made up of matter. Chocolate cake is made up of matter. <laughs> and when those two types of atoms meet, they exchange their energy and make Life. light. So. Who's coming in? And some Prince Edward Island potatoes. We have electricity. <laughs> oh, we're just loving it. Does it taste like chocolate? Oh, no! no. Oh, no. Why would he ever do that? He's riding to see Mary. What are you doing here? I don't know. Aww. I love this for them. Science is part of the course of study. That wasn't science. That was pressed to digitation. Oh, for heaven's sake. It was an excellent lesson. The progressive mothers lobbied hard for the first female teacher in Avonlea. Please, don't squander the opportunity. Being outside, working with your hands, where everything you do every day counts for mm -hmm. something. Sounds like a life to me. You gotta understand, dreams don't come true in the bog. Maybe they do. No, no, no. Oh my god. What's about to happen right now? Excuse me? Sebastian? Hello? Help? Ooh. It's getting late. Yikes. Would you like to come for supper? Ooh, okay. When? There's nothing more I've ever wanted in this world. When? When, when, when? You can come with me. Just promise that you'll never tell a soul about what you're going to see. <sighs> He's gonna meet her. Is that your lunch you're leaving on the ground? My fox must be hungry. That's the only reason he's stealing chickens. I have to feed him to protect him. You've created an enchanted kingdom here. Oh, it gives me such a thrill that you will perceive it so. <laughs> Cole is my friend and a brilliant artist. He's really honing his talents now. He refuses to go to school. If I really need to know and if I could help him, you should tell me. Gossip is another thing entirely. Oh, look at them. I love this. I'm gonna cry. Oh <laughs> my god. I just got hit with a wave of emotion. Oh my god, calm down. Why am I gonna cry right now? That's out of control. Thought you could teach me to make crab cantaloupe. Little taste of home. Oh my god. Is he gonna be like upset that Bash isn't there? Gilbert. Smells like paradise. You think you're in heaven? No. It feels more like home. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh my god, that was adorable. Oh, I hate this. Oh, that's the fox. Oh no. Oh no. That's all his sculptures. Oh no. They're gonna destroy the whole, like, heart. Cause they're assholes, aren't they? Oh no, they're gonna light it on fire, I bet you. Come out, come out, wherever you are! <laughs> oh my god, why are they such assholes? Oh my god. That's 
so sad. <gasps> oh my god. Why are they such dickheads? I hate them so much. I'm happy to drop you off if you like. Oh, I'd be much obliged. I don't have much time before school. You must be the infamous Miss Stacy. I'm Harmon Andrews. I'm not over that. Oh. Why won't you listen to me? Oh God, yeah. Anne, Anne. Leave her be. Think of something else. Sometimes you just have to use your imagination. I haven't met him yet. Apparently he hasn't been to school for quite some time. He goes every day. Mm. Books, every morning. I saw your sculptures, Cole. You're a gifted artist. Seems you've yet to meet the new teacher. Seems you've been lying to us. Oh, God. Cole! Cole, come back here right now, Cole! Oh, no, Cole. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. teacher here you told her about me are you that desperate to be liked it's over i have nothing who would do this do you know who did this who else did you show no one i don't i don't know is he gonna mess ish up does he know no does he know <laughs> Does he know whose that is? Yeah, Anne, you better run. That's so heartbreaking. Oh my god, Cole. Oh, it's not even Cole. Miss Stacy. Everything alright? Oh yes. Oh my god, yes. End him. Finish him. That was so upsetting. Just the entire... Oh. I love the new teacher, Miss Stacy. She is going through it. And I hope that eventually they all see very shortly that she is an asset and a great teacher and not... And, and stop terrorizing her because it's out of control. I think his name is Billy. I hate him. I'm so happy that Cole just burnt his ear off. I don't even care. <laughs> like, I feel more for Cole. That that probably traumatized him and he's probably going to get in trouble than I do for Billy. Billy deserved it. Billy deserved his entire face to be pushed against whatever that was. And that's how I feel on that. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh. I think Anne learned a very important lesson. She can kind of... Uh, gossip so I think that it was good that the teacher kind of shut it down I was like that's not acceptable here no we're not gonna be doing that Anne obviously always comes from like the best place like she was trying to help Cole she was trying to get it all figured out but unfortunately he saw it as a betrayal um, but the teacher also went to his house which I feel like maybe wasn't the move I don't really know um, I cannot believe that Billy and everybody ended up ruining the entire building. Like, didn't just destroy all their things. No, knock the entire building down. Like, why are we doing that? What was the point other than being assholes? I hate them. I hate them so much. Makes me so angry. 
but what can you do I guess oh, I'm so angry I'm so upset and I'm stressed out Gilbert's getting more schooling Bash didn't come home I'm curious to see how that plays out and where we go from there is Bash ever coming back or is Bash moving in with Mary I, I need answers like stat so that'll be interesting to find out for sure oh my god I'm so upset that was such a rough episode it was a great episode I enjoyed it a lot but just rough rough for me rough for my emotions I cried unsurprisingly <laughs> I feel like I cry all the time so I'm not very very shocked that I did but yeah Thank you so much for watching this episode with me. As always, the full episode reaction for this episode and all of the other episodes will be up on my Patreon. The link for that's down below. And I'll see you guys back here with me for the next episode. Bye, guys.